One of the cool things about Mobile Force Vision and the modularity of this system is that you really can you really can fine tune um, the things that you can cr control um, and really get very creative and um, expressive with what you design. Um, so let's say here I've got a a tree and I want to quickly make you know I just want to quickly make something um, that is a little different maybe from what you know um, is found in the kind of like the presets if you will um, <clears throat> so I want to really kind of create a new type of branch so I'm gonna come in here and let's just start with something basic um, let's just say we go with um, let's bear three okay so um, this is a, a very simple type of branch. Um, looking at it, maybe, um, let's see, let's look at what three looks like. Um, maybe that's okay. Uh, let's look at maybe what two, let's look at maybe, so branch zero was completely empty. Um, let's Okay, branch one is just a little bit curved. <clears throat> Maybe this is okay. Okay, so we've got this, and I want what I want to do here is I want to create, I want to create a new type of branch that doesn't look like one of those other ones. So let's let me go ahead and just put this back to center. Um, could also use that reset transform tool if I wanted. Um, so we have a start branch here, and let's go ahead and maybe make this a little bigger, and maybe I like the way this looks, so um, let's create a, another one here, and I'm going to, if we want, we can maybe make it branch off like that, and just put this down inside of it like so so you know it's not it's not like the other branch options it's still a little simple um, but it's different you know and maybe this meets the vision that I'm looking for let me get rid of this Sun all right so I like this, so let's take this other branch, let's um, make it a child here. Alright, so we've got this one, and <clears throat> now we want to have some, some foliage. So, of course, we can, I'm going to pick on this guy, and let's, let's go here and create, uh, let's go with a card, let's do a bare branch. Okay, let's move this up. So this is just going to kind of give a little bit of that extra detail. Maybe that I'm looking for. And let's see. Just playing around here. Maybe something like that. Maybe... I'm going to say we'll just leave it like that for now. All right, so that's something. Just a little bit of detail. All right. So when it comes to the foliage, of course, you can come in here and you can create, let's say we go with uh, the, your basic leaves. All right, so this is, you know, we really are constructing kind of from scratch now. You know, so you can put this on there and, you know, rotate it and, you know, make it bigger, you know, and you really can start to kind of construct something. But what I want to show you here is that you have another option in the foliage, the leaf bunch. And what the leaf bunch is, as you can see, it's just a group of planes, or really it's a group of these cards. Of these leaf fillers okay so it's just if you take this and start making copies and rotating around and scaling and doing all kinds of stuff um, 
that's what these leaf bunches are. So it's just a really quick way of just generating some leaf bunches, um, you know, or foliage groups, if you will, for these branches. And, you know, the idea being is that, like, let's take a look and see how many polygons we have here. So let's go with the new optimize. So 162 vertices uh, for this one leaf bunch. And um, let's see, that's what it looks like with the second material. And all right, so I like that one. Let's say we go with that. All right, so, you know, very quickly I have, you know, a good canopy um, piece of foliage. And, you know, it's a really good group. It looks good from above. It looks good from the side. Um, and I can just quickly place these. Let's maybe make that a little bigger. And let's make a copy. Put this over here. Let's give it a different rotation. Maybe make something like that. Maybe give this one like that. All right. So we have our, you know, a little branch here. And um, let's go ahead and make this a new prefab. So let's open our tools, new prefab. And let's put this back down here. So um, I'm going to call this, I'm just going to rename the whole thing. I'm going to call this new branch, you know, because it's super, super creative name there. Um, going to the prefabs is fine. So I'll just go ahead and hit save. So here's our new branch prefab. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and delete and re-add it. Now we've got our trunk, so let's drag this to our trunk. And let's just center this up. And start moving it. And so let's just create a couple. So kind of, you know, following the principle of how trees grow. Um, when their branches sprout, they don't really sprout uh, in a uniform way. They do kind of creep up and around like this. And of course, you know, I'm not trying to make any specific type of tree here. I'm really kind of just making a new tree. I'm going for a, you know, a new species that maybe is fitting only for my particular world that I'm creating. And let's say as it gets higher up, maybe it gets a little smaller. Let's do maybe one more. Yeah, let's do one more. And as it gets all the way up here, do something like that. And on this last one, just to cover up this uh, final spike here, Let's put this over here and maybe I'll just grab one of these fillers, make a copy of it, and I'll pull it like this and cover up that spike. All right, so we have a tree that uh, is, you know, brand new, it doesn't fit anywhere else. Um, you can come in here and Move this around, fix all these little issues. Scale this down a little bit. You know, and sometimes it's where those cards, those leaf filler cards can come in handy. I mean, whatever, I'm not gonna get too crazy here. Uh, but you see that I've very quickly have made a brand new tree that of course we can uh, save a prefab for, we can um, make, you know, a collapse version. I like the way that this is looking. Maybe I want to add in a little bit more of these um, empty, these empties. Maybe I'll go like this. Maybe 
something like this and I will go ahead and let's make another copy let's do another rotation and I'll use my switch mesh to pull up that second version all right and the only reason why I'm not just continuing to copy these is I'm gonna copy um, these is that you've got these I can you know if I so desire I can change these around um, like this one I can just copy it around and that new one that I made is gonna go with it um, so let's take this make another copy just look for a different place for to put it different rotation just give me that different look you know so we're really kind of filling the tree out and I'm gonna do maybe one more up here on the top part yeah something like that all right very cool and you know if we wanted to we could also pick on this guy and let's create some some bare branches let's get um, let's do a bear two, something like that and let's maybe scale that down Let's maybe get that a little bit of a rotation. Maybe, you know, this is how this particular tree grows. You know, you're making a new species, so you can kind of invent the rules on how they look and why they grow the way that they do. Um, and again, you can switch the type of mesh that it is. If you decide you don't like something so I kind of like that I think that looks pretty cool and maybe I actually don't need that maybe I just want it there at the bottom just to give a little something where something you know things are growing um, you know very quickly as you can see you can got a new tree and let's do let's just save a new prefab um, let's call this spiral tree and boom save it and now we got a spiral tree <clears throat> and let's say I want to make a new copy um, so I'm going to go to my tree tools give me a little bit of randomization on the branches okay so I mean it's a little different it's not incredibly um, let's do the scale let's boost up the scale of everything a little bit so maybe this is now like a, you know, a more adult version. You know, it's grown up a little bit. Um, so let's call this spiral tree. Maybe you know, adult. And let's see, spiral tree adult. And well, let's see what happens if we shrink everything down really small. So just quickly did that, um, and let's do some more randomization. Okay, and you know, spiral tree. Let's just say younger, and from one one tree that we created. very quickly we have different versions that we can use in our game and of course we don't have any uh, additional hits on the draw calls um, and you know maybe we, we like it but you know we don't particularly we're not filling the green foliage and the, the uh, um, you know maybe the color of the branch so Let's try an autumn 
let's go with autumn two see what that looks like you know maybe that's what we want um, maybe maybe it's not this one so let's switch the mesh let's look at that one or this one or maybe we do like that one um, so you see the mobile force vision tool set really gives you um, complete freedom and control um, to create really whatever your imagination comes up with